This has always been a dream of mine, and now it's in the room right behind me. Thanks to Squarespace for helping me with this video, and let me know if you like this sit-down style of video. I know my recent content has been crazy. Garden projects, diggers, climbing on roofs, internet dishes. I'm just fancying a sit-down today. So, this is the new gear room. Not just for me, but for all of us on the channel. It houses all of the equipment that I and all of my team use to create these videos online. Honestly, I've been making videos for over 10 years on YouTube and it still sounds nuts to say that I do this for a living. It's really cool, so thank you to those of you that have supported me throughout the years. Speaking of, let's take it way back. Back when I was a dot, probably a little bit bigger than a dot actually, I had always dreamt of owning a room like this. I'm not sure if part of it is my slight OCD or the fact that I just like everything to be in order or together. I've always just loved the idea of having a room specifically housing all of the gear and to make life easier. Now, if you are interested in more of the DIY and how we actually did this, I've uploaded a behind the scenes on TechFlow, so if that's more your thing, I'll put a link in the description. So, this is what this room looked like when I purchased this house, which had this room that I'm currently in, in the garden. This is like a massive garden room, and this is a room inside of said garden room. Now, I knew I wanted something really, really moody, so out came all of the wooden furniture, I painted the walls grey, the ceiling black, and we'll hit the nail on the head with, I know you will be interested in the light on the roof. I didn't actually know the names of these things. These are called hexagon lights, and you can buy them from loads of places online for various different prices. Annoyingly, they aren't cheap. This fixture on the roof cost me 250. Do I think it's worth it? Yes, 100%, as well as it providing really good natural light, evenly lit light in the entirety of the room. It's also a focal point of the room. It's a piece of furniture, if you will. And while we're on the topic of lighting, this neon sign behind behind me was actually custom made for Nico Omalana for the Beta Squad's house. Turns out they didn't want them after I had them made for them, so I'm using it here and it looks really good in here. It looks better when the main lights are off. It's really, really cool. I settled on these two brushed plate sockets here in the UK that also have some USB sockets in and I went for the USB-C variant as well, seeing as in the next five to 10 years, everything will be USB-C. So I cut two holes in the wall. I thought this was gonna be an absolute nightmare. Turns out it wasn't. I wired them up to an existing socket, put them in the wall, and they look a million dollars. I really, really like these. All of the chargers for my main Sony cameras use 240 volts, so that's why it's important that we've got both 240 volts and USB-C and USB for things like the lav mics, which charge over USB. Now, as far as labeling things go, I am an absolute sucker for it. I bought this thing called a P-Touch Cube off Amazon. It's a brother little label printer, and you can get different size labels in here. It's Bluetooth, it connects to your phone, and you can customize the labels on your phone and send them to the printer. Labeled on the IKEA unit, we've got big cameras, small cameras, small camera accessories, big camera accessories, lighting, and audio equipment, respectively. As Howard Moon once said, organized gear is the backbone of any good business. In fact, I think he said stationary. Organized stationary is the backbone of any good business, Vince. Now, a few days ago, I went to Ikea to pick up all of this furniture for this room, and one thing that I wish I'd picked up more of are these little tray organizers that sit inside of your drawers to separate stuff out. They're really, really helpful because a lot of this camera stuff is kind of finicky. You've got small little tripod shoes, little screws here and there, and these trays help to keep these things all organized. 
Now moving on to the right from the charging desk, we've got the tripod station. Now I have a load of friends that also love filming and love cameras and do promotional videos and things and therefore they always come to me asking to borrow my gear. One of my friends, Elliot, it's definitely not you, took one of my tripods about four months ago and I have only just got it back and I asked him for it and he said he didn't even have it. Turns out he did. Well now, after buying these simple hooks from Home Depot, Home Depot. I'm only joking, I'm in the UK, screw fix. I can clearly see that I've got three tripods and I can also clearly see if one of them is missing or not in its place. And that is the most important thing about this room. It's the reason it exists, to make sure things are in their place. For the last almost a year now that I've been living in this new place, I have had stuff everywhere. Like I said, this is a separate building from the house, which is over there. There's charging stuff in the conservatory. I'm often losing batteries. I had all my drone stuff on my dining room table, and now everything is in here. Switching over to the other side, you can see that we've got this big industrial shelf here, again from Ikea. Up on the top, we've got the gimbal level. So this is where all of the camera stabilizers and gimbals live. Now, I don't have a massive collection of lenses because I use Sony cameras, absolutely love them, but the only downside to the Sony system is that the lenses are super expensive, especially if you want the Sony G Master lenses. I've only got five or six lenses here, but there's probably about 10,000 pounds worth of lenses right there which is absolutely bonkers. Please don't come and rob me. In fact, de definitely don't do that. I've got a good security system. <laughs> Atlas will absolutely destroy you. Moving down from level lens, moving down from the lens level, <laughs> we've got one of my favorite shelves. This is the drone shelf. Now, I have been into drones since day. One of my first drones was the original Phantom back in the day, the Phantom One. Absolutely unreal bit of kit and sparked an absolute, I don't know what the word is, craving in my mind for drones. I absolutely love the footage that you could get from them and just being able to put a camera somewhere where most people can't if they haven't got a drone just was really awesome to me. Back in 2016, I saved up all of my money and bought the Inspire One, which set me back, I think, about two and a half thousand pounds in 2016. Absolutely loved that thing. It was my favorite thing that I ever had until I took it to New Zealand with me when I went traveling and crashed it into a tree. But then fast forward a couple of years and drones were now old hat because the new craze was in FPV, as to which I adopted a few FPV drones. I've got a couple of FPV drones here. However, only one of them works because they are super easy to crash, very easy to break, but also super easy to fix and therefore are a massive money pit. And then down the bottom, I've just got a load of my camera bags here. So in case I'm going on a trip somewhere and I need to take all of my gear, I can choose the appropriately sized bag. Really not much more to say. Moving on from the gear shelf, we've got Karen. Of course, we've got a Karen in here. Yeah. This is my little screen on wheels that I can bring out into the studio and it just lives in there right next to the top down set where it's mainly going to get used. And this is my favorite portion of this room. Now it's a bit ghetto. On the wall, we've got a little bit of wood drilled in with a Manfrotto arm. And this is where you can come and mount a camera which perfectly points down at the flexi spot table. And the flexi spot table is really important because it's actually motorized, which means it lifts up and down. So if you've got a really small product, you can lift the table up and get it closer to the camera. Whereas if you're showing something a bit larger, you can lower it down to get the whole product in. And you're probably thinking, what are these things on top of the table? Well, these are basically just different synthesized services, services, surfaces that we can use for the top down shots. Atlas is sneaking around. But yeah, there you guys have it. There is the almost completed gear room. I'm super, super happy with it. And hopefully it spawned a little bit of inspiration for any of you at home that are wanting to do something similar, maybe in a cupboard, or you just want you to simply organize your gear. And if you guys have any recommendations that you think we could do to this room to make it that little bit more useful or helpful, please let me know in the comment section down below. But for now guys, I need to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace.
Squarespace for the last seven years has been my go-to place for making websites online. All of my personal websites are currently built on Squarespace and you can see an example of my wireless internet website on your screen now. I'm literally using them myself for my personal websites so I don't know what more I really need to say. Other than one of the tools that I really like on there is the SEO. You can check how your website is going to appear on search engines like Google. And search engines are where most of the time people are going to click on your website. So being able to preview how that looks on Google is actually really important. On top of all that, the websites are just sick. They've got thousands of templates which you can choose from, really cool animations which you can change and swap out as you please at your leisure. It is honestly awesome. If I haven't sold it to you, then hopefully this will. I can save you some money. When you're at checkout, simply just use code MarsBar or go to squarespace.com forward slash MarsBar vlogs and it'll get you 10% off your first Squarespace purchase or domain whilst supporting me at the same time. But there you have it guys. That has been my gear room for 2023 in the new place. I'm super happy this thing exists. It's been a dream in my mind ever since I was a dot and now it's right behind me. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.